Okay, so we now need to create the add new hotel form in here. So this will all be hooked up to use state. And then when we click add hotel, we will then dispatch the data in here to our database. If we click add hotel, as you can see, all of these fields will be required. So they do need to be filled in as well. So going back into the create component, I now have a div in here. So I'm going to give this a class name of create. So now save and then inside here we're going to render a h2 saying add a new hotel and then now what will happen is we just need to render a form component so form and then we don't need an action but what we will do later is add a on submit so i'll just add that in now actually so on submit is equal to curly braces and then it takes in an event and then what we want to do is render a function. So this function will be called add new hotel. And then what we want to do is pass in the event here as well. So now I just need to create this just above. So const add new hotel takes in an event. And then we want to console log dot blog successfully added new hotel and the first thing we need to do is prevent the default action of a form submit so passing in the e here and then e dot prevent default in here as well so now if i save we don't have anything in our form so i just want to i just want to add in uh in an input first of all and then we also need to fix this typescript error so if i hover over this you can see here it says react form event html form element so that is what i'm going to pass into my e in here so react form event and then now if i save that should eliminate the error and then first element in this form is going to be a, a label and we don't want the html fours in here i'll just leave them out and this label is going to be the hotel title and then we also want to have an import just below it of type text. This will be required. So now if I save, we now have hotel title. And in here is we have an import where we can type in as well. So now what we need to do is we need to connect this to our React state so that when we eventually submit or press add a new hotel we want to almost get a snapshot of whatever the state is of our application so in this example i'm going to create some state so const title and set title which is equal to use state and this is going to be an empty string for now and we also need to import use state from react so now every import or everything within this form will have a value so this value is going to be equal to the title that we have just declared here and then when we change anything in the import we want to have an on change method in the import here so on change is equal to e so we want to pass in the event again this time and then we want to set the title to e.target.value like so and now if i save i just want to console log the title and if i inspect and go into my console i want to type in here so each time i press something it console logs the state so it updates the value of this title so at the time where i press add a new hotel it will take the last known value for the title and send that into our database so so essentially what we want to do is we want to send the data to a new document and then whatever is last seen so for example in this case it will be hello we will send the hello text for the title into our new document so therefore the title so if we go into our hotel dashboard the title will then be hello so now all we need to do is repeat this so i'm going to add in the rest of the form in so if i just copy everything across and then just paste it in below and we can look through it so essentially we need to add the states in as well 
So all of these pieces of state, I'm just going to add in below the title, like so. So we have the description, the feature, the location, the stores, region, country, review, total price and per night. So if I save, we now have the form here and each value, so each import or select drop down that we have is connected to a piece of state in here. So every time we update the piece of state or update the form in our front end, the state will update. So then we essentially pass in all of these values in our add new hotel, and then that will get sent as a post request to our database as a new document. What I also want to do is add a navigate in here. So when we click the add hotel and we successfully submit a hotel, we want to then navigate back to the home page. So the way to do that is const navigate is equal to use navigate. And that's from react router DOM. So now all I need to do here is once we've submitted and successfully added the hotel, we just want to navigate to the home route. And you just pass in a forward slash like so. So that is the UI complete for all of the application. So we have the create form here. If I go into the home page, we have the home page rendering the relevant cards. If we click through to view more information, we have a details card on here where we can edit the description and then update the hotel and we can also delete the hotel and click on here. What we will do next is add the functionality in for the add hotel and then when we add a hotel we will send all of the information in our form as a new document into our Firestore database.